So guys, me here today. I want to make sure this thing's recording. It would appear that Kevin Nash was right. Um, a few months ago, as he was pretty much done with TNA, um, quite a few months ago actually, he had said that WWE has the problem with the fact is they're not pushing the young guys and they need to push the young guys. The problem is now that Vince McMahon has been pushing him too much, they're not really going to hit their peak properly. You know, most of the best wrestlers in the world didn't become the best until they're in their 30s or so. They didn't hit those high points. They didn't win those titles. They weren't the names of the company for, um, you know, they weren't the names of the company back when they were like 20-odd. And that was the problem with Vince McMahon. And as I had stated this before, and as Kevin Nash stated, it takes about 10 years to get a wrestler, um, I guess, conditioned to, to wrestling itself. Um, if you push wrestlers too far, too fast, too quickly, they're going to leave like Lesnar did. They're going to get a bigger ego. They're going to demand more money. They're going to this, they're going to that. You know, they're not really committed to wrestling. Um and that's what Vince McMahon has done. And now Vince McMahon is turning around. He's not very happy with the youth in WWE right now. He finds, you know, they're not performing at the level they should be. They're not really bringing in the people they should be. You know, you know the money, the fans. Um, and they have a bad attitude. And you know what? This is exactly everything that Kevin Nash said would happen going back late, uh, late last year. You know, he said you got to take those young guys, condition them when they first come into the company, and anywhere between, you know, seven to ten years later, that's when you can start pushing them as the main event status. Well, you know, they're taking all those young guys, and they did nothing with them, and they did nothing with them, and they held them back, and they held them back, and they kept holding them back, where they took, you know, those big names that had already made their millions, and already been the headliners of the company, and kept giving them the titles. And then when they started retiring, you know, Triple H, Undertaker, Big Show, Edge, Jericho, you know, when they got slowed down and they can't compete at that high level anymore that they need to compete, um, Vince McMahon had no other choice but to give the titles to people and start pushing people who don't deserve to be pushed, who aren't good enough wrestlers yet, who haven't, you know, made their spot yet. You know, people like Sheamus and The Miz and Del Rio and all this, all this crap is they got to, Vince should have pushed these guys you know, back when they first started, and they shouldn't, they still shouldn't be main eventing, you know, yet they shouldn't be the name of the company. And that's the problem is Vince McMahon didn't have a wide range of young talent, and they, he wasn't pushing them properly. I mean, you look at TNA, AJ Styles, he's had a, that push ever since 2002. Robert Roode's probably going to be the champion at Bound for Glory. We're seeing Matt Morgan getting pushed. We've seen Daniels. We've seen Kazarian. We've seen all these young people, well, younger people, back then. They're not young now. They're in their 30s, you know, in their early to mid to late 30s. Um, that's the problem, you know, with WWE is they weren't doing that then. So now these guys in their 30s over the long haul are going to be the better wrestlers and they're going to bring in more money because they've been trained properly. They haven't been given everything on a silver platter. They haven't you know, turn their backs, they're not demanding, they're not this, they're not that. TNA was uh, doing the youth thing properly, and Vince McMahon wasn't. You know, over, it's only really been over the past three years that Vince has even tried to do anything with youth. And really right now, Vince has just recently, you know, apparently, according to the sources, are saying that Vince are, is not very happy uh, with the youth in WWE, and is considering not pushing them as much right now because they can't handle it. They're too immature. Well, no kidding, Vince. Everybody around you was saying that years ago. Um, you know, CM Punk, I, although it was a work, his promo was right. You know, people kissing Vince's ass and Vince kissing people's asses, and that's where they're getting. If you're friends with Triple H, then you get whatever you want. That's the thing, is it was too many politics. And over the long haul, TNA is going to be better because the fact is they push the wrestlers properly. In WWE right now, and how it's always going to be, it's nothing but a revolving door of wrestlers. MVP comes in, MVP goes out. You know, um, Caval goes in, Caval goes out. And, you know, that's going to keep happening with everybody else. Eventually, Brian Danielson will leave. Justin Gabriel will leave. Eventually, at some point, Evan Bourne will leave if he doesn't get pushed properly. Shelton Benjamin tried to leave years ago. Um, 
this is the problem that WWE is having, and now he's complaining. Well, you know, everybody saw this coming. Every real wrestling fan saw this coming, and now it's come back to stab Vince in the back. Oops, Vince. Oops.